here we are in near Aliva Beach, down a short access road near the beach. And we have this absolutely immaculate uh, three, four bedroom villa. Okay, it's got mains electric and well water with a pump system. So we're going to go around the outside. They've got loads of lemons and oranges, and uh, then we'll go inside and have a look. So here are this lovely covered terrace uh, into the front door. And nice, easy to maintain borders. Uh, the carport, which is on the deeds, and another terrace. This is straight off the dining room and the kitchen area, and ideal for the barbecue. So we've got this lovely covered terrace here as we go in. And round here, there's loads of parking, and the oranges go back really quite far. It's a 2,000 square meter plot. Uh, 2,400 maybe even. Uh, got some beautiful bird of paradise there, avocado and as I say we could have a wander down through the oranges on both sides. This is the chicken shed and various other workshops and the rear of the property which is also in fantastic condition and here is the back door. This comes off the utility area at the back of the house and obviously we have another shed here and access again to more oranges greenhouse and water and the back of the property as we see so plenty of space really kind of superb and at the end of the street uh, another shed here and then we're coming back round to the gate we've got as I say more oranges and lemon trees down the plot to the right hand side so as if we were walking back in from the front we're going to go into the front door uh, all of the windows and doors have got the fly screens it's all double glazed, persiana's new windows, and we have this lovely entrance. So we've got the lovely good sized kitchen, fully fitted, and round to the dining area and lounge with a log burner. So that's a very cosy space, although you generally be outside and the, as you can see, this new electrics here inside and out. You've got a hot and cold air conditioning and then they would be the patio doors to take you straight out to that lovely terrace and the barbecue area there. So all very nearby. This is our first bedroom. This could be a small double bedroom and again fly screens and double glazing and some amazing built-in wardrobes and with those drawers in there as well so handy for storage and we go back round we've got uh, the main bedroom I would say master bedroom on the ground floor here and again also very nice fitted wardrobes Good size again, all windows with fly screens and double glazed. So, this is the last room on the ground floor. We've got this nice big family bathroom, uh, shower, and sink unit. And then this leads us out to the back door that I mentioned. This is the utility room. So, you've got your gas boiler, another fridge freezer, some more storage your washing machine and the automatic pump here for the well water and this is the back door out into the back garden again so very handy layout uh, all round so we go back through there's more storage here and then those mirrored doors back through into the main house uh, very nice, really tasteful, 
plenty of space and up to the top floor little spiral staircase again quite pretty and I have a nice very nice shower room up here all looks brand new Nice shower, and we have the big bedroom here again, some built in storage, window there overlooking the barbecue. Oh, this is a huge room and plenty of space. Nice little landing here if you wanted a little office space or a nice armchair for reading, and then into another. Big double bedroom, needs a little bit of finishing off. Um, this has the advantage of this lovely terrace. Again, just needs a railing around it. And you've got this fabulous terrace, which overlooks your land. So it overlooks the orange groves here. Um, bit fenced there on the right hand side. And the driveway down, some neighbours, and then straight down from the edge of the carport. Uh, you can see how far the land goes as far as the fence at the end and your barbecue area. So, looking there down towards the sea, around the mountains, of morning sunshine on the front of the house, and your sunsets straight ahead of us now. In the winter and then in the afternoons you would have the sunshine on the back of the house near the beach what more could you ask for